Good morning, it's Tom Padula from Tom Padula TV on YouTube and in Senior Booksellers. And uh, today is uh, an important one. Um, I feel I'm prepared uh, quite well this morning. It's fantastic, um, you know, a good feeling. Canto 9 of Purgatorio is the key uh, element for today's presentation. So, and what's today? Today is the Sunday, the 28th of August, 2022. And uh, it's uh, program number 48. Uh, it's almost a year now. Soon it'll be a year when uh, I first started this um, uh, this journey, and, and which has taken me to Inferno, uh, right through the first 34 canti. Then I did five, um, five presentations, and then... At the number 40, I began, uh, program 40, I began these particular uh, presentations of Purgatorio. And uh, we are in Canto 9, an important canto because we are in the anti-Purgatorio and uh, Dante and Virgilio get closer and closer to be able to uh, go up the mountain and um, find more closely the idea of, um, the idea of, uh, Forgiveness for sins committed, very specific com sins committed. Whereas uh, in the in the canti that I've read up to now, it's sort of um, more like negligence. You know, the, the things that we we don't think we do wrong, or uh, we are unsure of of our sins in a way. But in the end, we say, "Oh, forgive us, forgive me, God." You know, I. I realise that I've made some mistakes, etc., etc. Whereas, the, you know, in as we move up, as we move up into Purgatorio, into the mountain of Purgatorio, we'll be seeing more specific sins tackled by Dante and uh, the way to salvation from these. So, welcome to Frank Matsaka. Good to see you on today for Canto Nine of Purgatorio. Last week I had a bit of an incident here in the, in the sense that the last 20 minutes of the program went mute. There was no sound at all. And I must have pressed, um, I got up, I did a few things and I came back and obviously I must have made a mistake. So the first, um, uh, the first 40 minutes of the program are good. The last 20 are mute. Forgive me, but I will do the songs again today. I'm ready for them, and uh, I will present them. Why am I doing this last, this, these other six songs? Because they are part of the program, cultural program, that I intend to carry out, both at Federazione Lucana, uh, and this afternoon, literally, uh, from 3.30 to 5 o'clock, and also at the Il Carretto when I get my first 10 people who are interested in coming to sing Italian songs and to learn Italian lyrics. Now, going back to uh, Federazione Lucana, after this presentation here, there will be, uh, what, what, what did we call it? I can't remember what we called it. But we called it Scopriamo la Basilicata. In other words, we got, uh, the secretary, Leonardo Santa Martino, and myself are going to present uh, material from La Basilicata, from all points of view, uh, uh, geographical, folklore, uh, songs, food, whatever, as we move along. So uh, th this will occur at, on the last Sunday of each month. That's uh, uh, And we will go, I'll go from 3.30 till about 6 o'clock then because we'll add that extra hour. Should be interesting. And as I said before, da cosa nasce cosa, il tempo la governa. We'll see what happens straight after that in terms of how many people we get, how many people become interested in languages and culture. Because believe you me, uh, the, the, the role of Italian clubs in Melbourne and elsewhere is also to, to bring in uh, to bring in uh, uh, to bring in th th this particular uh, this particular aspect of uh, of Italian culture and language in the clubs, they do already in, t in the sense of dinner dances and uh, balolice and uh, some sport and some social activities like playing cards, etc., etc. But you know, we want to add to that the history, the literature, the the, the more engaging parts of Italian uh, culture, 
uh, from the point of view of lo studio della lingua italiana e della cultura e della storia e della geografia etc this cannot be left just to schools and to one or two italian institutions here in melbourne this is an obligation on the part of every single club uh, whether they listen to what Tom Badul has to say or not, it's not up to me. I'm just saying it without any obligation for people to do anything at all. They can continue the way they've been or they can, you know, take it on. So that, that's it. I also have a couple of poems from my uh, Amica Poesia, Poetry My Friend books, volume two, and then I'll do choral improviso songs, uh, the last, uh, the, the second uh, the third, I've divided it into two sec three sec four sections. Uh, each one has three songs. So, uh, primo, secondo, terzo, uh, quarto, set. The, the sets of the songs. And that's the way I will introduce them as well when we, uh, when I get my, you know, the, the few people who come and sing along. Now, why do I call it the choral improviso? Because it's improvised. Some people don't come, people come, don't come, come. They can come and have a look and stay or go. Uh, it's up to them. But I am committed to it and uh, Dora and Rina uh, will come uh, when they can in terms of the music. Uh, you know, Dora is a very good mandolin player and uh, we'll have a bit of music. Who knows? You know, things will develop from here. Okay, so it's 11.30 and I'm going to start now for, with Canto 9. Okay, uh, there's a couple of other things too. Today at the Preston Market, there's an Italian day from 11 till, uh, uh, from 11 till about 3. Uh, I'll, I'll just drop in uh, today. And what else is there? Oh, this week, uh, Il, Globo, Il Globo TV was born. So Tom Padula TV, now we also have Il Globo TV, of course, is bigger and better, and etc., etc. And I'm so happy for this uh, particular institution of Melbourne to have taken up uh, uh, the idea of doing TV uh, as well uh, as part of their, their work, and it's great. And, you know, the world is a big place, so if you can survive financially doing it in a commercial sense, it's a wonderful thing for the Italian community and the Australian community especially, because Australia does need the bridges with all the, the countries in the world. So anyone that, you know, that can do it, fantastic. And congratulations to Il Globo and, uh, you know, the media, they've got the radio, they've got the, uh, the newspapers, and they've been going on since 1959, a long time. <laughs> I came in 1963 into Australia and uh, and I met them. In, I, met, I, I used to go to Pill Street in North Melbourne uh, in 1967 uh, when Rolando Di Bari was there. I remember him with, you know, he was quite a character. Curtis L. Tolman, welcome. So you're going to get now, the Italian community is, is spreading out and with social media, more people can um, take on uh, the cudgel of, uh, you know, Italian language and literature. And here we go. Uh, so how do we start? I started last time with giving you a little bit of a summary of Dante's uh, Canto 9. Dante falls asleep. He's in the company of... Sordello Virgilio Nino Visconti Corrado Malaspina in the last canto, he falls asleep because, you know, having a body, uh, and it's a bit dark, so people don't realise that he needs, he needs to sleep. That's part of having a body. We, we, we come from Adamo and Eva. He didn't mention Eva, but Adamo. So, uh, and uh, there is another thing too that, that comes on. As the night fades away, l'aurora comes. L'aurora is seen here. The aurora is, um, uh, is, is a mythological character as well. She's a minor divinity in the old Greek and Roman tradition. And she was married to Titone. She was allowed to marry a mortal who was given the gift of immortality, but he was not given the gift of of youth. So Titone grew older as Laurora, uh, as Laurora uh, remained the same. 
And that means at the beginning of the day, Laurora is what it is. At Titona, the mortal one, goes through the 24 hours. So it becomes old. Okay, so that's basically it. So Dante falls asleep and dreams of a golden eagle sweeping him into the sky, close to the sun, gets very, very hot, and then he gets dropped off. Uh, waking up, huh? He finds that it's morning and, and that he and Virgil have been carried to the portal of purgatory proper, anti-purgatorio it's called. A lady, a lady, a saint, you know, Santa Lucia, named Lucia, carried Dante, Virgil explains, while he followed behind. The two approach a gate in purgatory out a wall before it an angel sits on the stairs holding a blindingly bright sword. You can't come in, you know, so. <laughs> uh, even Purgatorio gets, uh, you know, gets security. After Virgil explains that Beatrice, uh, Dante's good friend from Paradise, and, you know, close to Santa Lucia and also La Madonna, okay, uh, and, of course, Christ and God. After Virgil explains that Beatrice sent them on this journey, the angel welcomes them to enter. So Beatrice sent Santa Lucia to pick up, to, to guide, if you like, uh, pick up Dante and carry him to the Antipurgatorio. Whereas in the initial stages of Inferno, if you remember, Beatrice uh, sent Virgil. She appeared to Virgil and sent Virgil to, ta to guide Dante. This time here, it, you know, it's, a, it's the same, really, is that Santa Lucia comes, picks up Dante's body and brings it to the Antipurgatorio, and that's where they are. Virgil and Dante climb three steps. Now, these three steps, the first step is of marble, the second is of rough stone, the third, a bright red gemstone towards the angel. Huh? Beating his breast in a sign of penitence, Dante falls before the angel and asks to be admitted. I have sinned, blah, 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 but I'm coming through. Uh, before letting Dante in, the angel writes seven Ps on, his, uh, on Dante's brow with his sword point. These are the, the sins, the particular sins we're going to meet as we move up Purgatorio. He tells Dante to wash off these scars as he travels through Purgatorio in preparation to go into Paradiso. Using a set of gold and silver keys, the angel unlocks the gate. Aha! Uh -huh. But it also tells Dante, do not turn around. And this is the mythological thing. Do not turn around, Dante, because if you do, then you go back to the beginning of Purgatorio. Don't turn around. As the gate opens, Dante hears the hymn, Te Deum Laudamus. We, we praise your God. Te Deum Laudamus. And I am reading Latin now uh, in my uh, Italian literature uh, presentation on Tuesdays as part of Italian literature uh, programs 41 to 60. Uh, so we're moving along here and I'm picking up quite a few uh, tips about how to move forward because, you know, nothing ever stays still, not even me. On each of the three uh, nights Dante spends in Purgatorio, he has a dream. This first dream symbolizes God's grace in carrying a person towards himself. Lucia refers to St. Lucy, who in Dante's Inferno helped alert Beatrice to Dante's sinfulness. Uh, yes and no. I mean, Dante was coming uh, as a writer. Okay, so, but he had to experience the sins, right? Then his own sinfulness is not yet, uh, they come, I think these people here have not quite understood. Uh, you know, in my opinion, Dante's uh, journey through Inferno, Purgatorio, and Paradiso is more that of uh, someone uh, who looks at things from the outside. So his own personal situation uh, doesn't come into it as yet. He, he has to be a mortal being before that comes in. But in this case here, he's got special privileges to have the guides of, um, uh, of Virgilio and then, you know, the other guides through 
the various stages of um, the reading of La Divina Commedia, of the La Commedia. But, uh, okay, now one last thing, and then I'll start proper, the reading proper, is that um, Dante's reflections as he writes each canto, and I thought about this just before, this can be philosophical, theological, mythological, historical, and literary. He also comments on well-known people, poets that, you know, from the past, from the myths, uh, from the history, from his own times. So these are reflections, and I, I love reflections. I, my first uh, book, uh, what did I call it? Uh, reflect, uh, reflections. Uh, there was the word reflection uh, in, in my first, the, the very first uh, first book that I wrote of my notes, uh, which dates back to 1969. Okay, so the, the, the re reflecting on one's life is important and reflecting on history as well. Okay, let's start. Before I do, let me have a drink. All right. La concubina di Titone Antico Già si imbiancava al balco d'Oriento, fuor delle braccia del suo dolce amico. Di gemme la sua fronte era lucente, posta in figura del freddo animale che con la coda percuote la gente. This is the scorpion. E la notte dei passi con che sale, fatti avea due nel loco ove eravamo, e il terzo già chinava in giuso l'ale. Quando io che meco avevo di quel d'Adamo, vinto dal sonno, in sull'erba inchinai là, ve già tutti e cinque sedevamo. Nell'ora, so, where is, he was sitting there with the five, I, I've mentioned them before, Sordello, Vigilio, Nino, Visconti, Corrado, Marapena, Dante fell asleep, was the, you know, the, the souls don't, they, they don't sleep, but because he was, he carried a body with him. Now, Titone was the antico, uh, the antico, the lover of Laurora, of Aurora, la concubina. Uh, you know, the, the, at first light, you know, lovers generally, the concubine, the, uh, you know, the day, the, the, this, the, that sp movement towards the light, the spiritualness of things. Okay, so, it's it's a representation of the morning from dawn into and it talk, talks about the terza ora the the day it divides the day into various sections okay again if you i've got this book here if you anyone wants it it's on my insegna.com website there are a lot of notes i can't uh, I can't really uh, do this. There are more notes than uh, the lines, you know. But the, these are real studies here. We're talking about the real studies of Dante, where you look at every single line, every single myth, every single this and that. Okay, so let's keep, keep going. So he fell asleep. Nell'ora che comincia i tristi lai la rondinella presso alla mattina, forse a memoria dei suoi primi guai, e che la mente nostra peregrina, più dalla carne e men da pensier presa, alle sue visioni quasi e divina. In sogno mi parea veder sospesa una guglia del cielo con penne d'oro, con l'ali aperte e calare intesa. So, he's asleep, but he, you know, he doesn't have consciousness of his consciousness, but, but he sees, in other words, he's dreaming of what he called un aguila, an eagle, un aquila, okay? Un aquila con penne d'oro, uh, with golden uh, wings, e l'ali aperte, uh, and open uh, wings again, e calare, come down, so sort of picking him up. Ed essere mi parea là dove fuor abbonati i suoi da Ganimede quando fu ratto al sommo consistoro. So, in other words, the eagle picks him up. And there's a, a reference again to another mythological figure. 
quando fu tratto, ratto al sommo consistore, fu ratto, boom, pictimato. Fra me pensava, eh, but it's not a, a white. Forse questa fiede pur qui per uso e forse d'altro luogo disdegna di portarne su so in piede. Maybe, you know, I'm not allowed to really walk, I don't know. I, again, the explanations can be many. Poi mi pare che che poi rotato un poco, terribile come folgor discendesse e mi rapisse suso infino al fuoco. So, took him up toward the sun and as he moved towards the sun, it gets very, very hot. And then, like a plane, he goes vroom, down and drops it. E vi pareva che ella e io ardesse, it was so hot, oh my God. E sì, lo incendio immaginato cosse che convenne che il sonno si rompesse. E so, it was so hot that my, my dream came to an end. And of course, it would only come to an end when the eagle drops him in a place in the antipurgatorio. Non altrimenti Achille si riscosse gli occhi svegliati rivolgendo in giro eh? e non sapendo là dove si fosse. He didn't know where he was. Quando la madre da Chiron a Schiro trafuggò qui dormendo in, lo, in, in le sue braccia la onde poi li greci il dipartiro. So we go, go again. It's the beginning of the voyage eh? of another voyage for Achille, but also for Dante, when he wakes up, he looks around, where am I, where do I go now? Che mi scossi io, eh? so he wake up, come dalla faccia mi fuggì il sonno, uh, the, the sleep just fell off his face, e diventa smort, he's smort, so he's a, uh, <laughs> he doesn't know where he is. Come fa l'uomo che spaventato a ghiaccia, as if you, uh, you, be, you become, become like ice. So it's, it's really uh, just no worries. Dal lato mi era solo il mio comfort. And then, of course, Virgilio is there. Dal lato, eh? Mi era solo. There was only il mio comfort, my guide. Isn't that beautiful? E il sole era er alto già più che due ore. And the sun was already sort of up there in the sky. E il viso mera alla marina torto. And my face was no longer uh, in semi-darkness, buio, like it was when dawn came. Non aver tema, eh? and now Virgilio says, don't be afraid, like a child. Don't be afraid, darling. <laughs> Disse il mio Signore, fatti sicur che noi siamo a buon punto. Be sure, we are in a good spot now. Eh? Non stringere, ma rallarga ogni vigore. Don't go into yourself. Open up. Come on. More strength. Tu sei ormai al purgatorio giunto. Ah, you finally got to purgatorio. <laughs> Vedi là il balzo che il chiude d'intorno. Look over there. Eh? Il balzo. It's like a wall. Vedi l'entrata là, ve par di giunto. And there is there. See, there is an entrance there. Dianzi nell'alba che procede al giorno, quando l'anima tua dentro dormia, Ellen explains, you know, what, what happened to him whilst he was asleep. Sopra le fiori andè là giù adorno, venne una donna e disse, I son Lucia. So a woman came uh, there amongst the flowers, etc. And he said, I'm Lucia. A woman came and didn't say I'm Santa Lucia. He said, I'm Lucia. I'm a woman from up there. Lasciatemi pigliare costui che dorme. Let me take this person who's sleeping, the little child. Si la agevolerò per la sua via, and I will make it easier for him on his way to Purgatorio. Finally, you know, he, he has to go up. No more sacrificing going up the little mountain to get to this pianura, etc., this anti-Purgatorio. Sordel rimase l'altra gente forma. So the others, you know, uh, 
the other three, uh, Sordello, Visconte, and what, what's his other na name? Uh, what's his other name? Malaspina, Corrado, okay? Sordello rimase e l'altra gente forme. Elle ti tolse come el di fu chiara. So she picked you up and, and the dive proper began. Se venne suso, e io per le sue orme, you know, came up and I came after her. Because Virgilio doesn't need to, to walk, he just can fly. Questi posò, ma prima mi, mi dimostraro gli occhi suoi belli, quella entrata aperta. Poi ella e il sonno ad una, ad una se ne andaro. So, before she went, her beautiful eyes showed me the entrance to Purgatorio. And then she went and so did your sleep. <laughs> they both went together. A guisa d'uom che in dubbio si raccerta e che muta in conforto sua paura, poi che la verità lì è discoperta. Mi cambia io e come senza cura vide me e il duca mio su per lo balzo si mosse e io di rietro in ver l'altura. E so, he gets up and is ready to follow Virgilio. Towards going up. E io di, di rietro in ver l'altura, behind him, towards further up. Lettore, now this is Dante, the writer, uh, telling us, you, me, okay? Lettore, tu vedi ben come io innalzo la mia materia. See how I am sort of going further into my into what I, what I, um, you know, into my journey and retelling my journey, my matera. E però con più arte non ti maravigliare se io la rincalzo. And don't be surprised if I, uh, con più arte, with more care, more consciousness of, you know, the journey that I've undertaken and where I am now. Noi ci appressammo ed eravamo in parte che là dove pareamo il primo rotto, pur che un fesso che muro di parte. So where the wall was from far away, he just saw a sort of a, um, a very narrow space. But as he moves in, closer, vidi una porta e tre gradi di sotto per gira ad essa, di color diverso. I saw this door and there were three steps, three colors of three different colors. E un portier che ancora non faceva moto. And a guard that still didn't speak. Okay? E come l'occhio più e più va persi, and as I open my eyes more and more, vidi il sedere sopra il grado sovrano. So I saw him on the top floor, you know, it was, I think it's white, uh, the three different colors meaning the stages of the stages of, of sinfulness vidi sedere sopra il grado sovrano tal nella faccia che io non lo so che che io non lo soffersi e una spada nuda aveva in mano che rifletteva i raggi si ver noi e i suoi disordi che odirizzava spesso il viso in vano Diti Constinci, che volete voi? So before he came, he said to Virgilio, enter Dante, what do you want? Comincia egli a dire, ove la scorta? Guardate che il venir su non vi noi. Uh, who's accompanying you? Coming up, you know. Donna del ciel, donna del ciel, di queste cose accorta. Rispose il mio maestro a lui, pur di anzi ne disse, andate là, qui via la porta. So he says, look, I, we don't have a scorta, but a woman called, um, you know, the, a woman from the sky, from paradise, came and told me, showed me the door. I said, that's where the door is for Purgatorio. Uh, you don't have... So, 
and so the, the the God became well became soft. I said, of course, come in. <laughs> ed ella i passi vostri in ben avanti, ok? Ricominciò il cortese portiere. Oh, she says, so, oh, no problems at all. Venite dunque ai nostri gradi innanzi. Come to our steps. Là ne venimmo e lo scaglione primario, eh? the first step was bianco, marmo, of um, marmo, marmo, marmo. You know what I mean? God. Unbelievable, eh? I can't remember marmo in English. Eh? Marble. That's it. It comes after a while. When you have two, three languages, you get this blank sometimes, and I think it's uh, must be, <laughs> must be, must be, whatever. Bianco marmo era sì pulito e terzo, was very clean, che io mi specchiai in esso quali io paio. So I, I could reflect in there. That's the first stage of sin. Era il secondo tinto più che perso di una petrina ruvida e arsiccia crepata per lo lungo e per traverso. The second one was tinto, you know, was, was, uh, had a color in it, I think, uh, a darker color. Lo terzo che di sopra, San Massiccia, porfido mi parea, and the third one was in red. Si fiammeggiante, come sangue che fuori di vena e spiccia, like blood. Good one, huh? White, maybe brownish, and then, uh, and then, or, oh, you know, brownish or dark, dark brown, I don't know. And then this rosso. I wonder which football team that would be. Okay. Sovra questa tenea ambo le piante l'angel di Dio, sedendo in sulla soglia che mi sembiava pietra di, damia, di diamante. So he tenea ambo le piante, he had his hands that looked like dia diamante. Per li tre gradi su di buona voglia mi trasse il duco dicendo chiedi umilmente che il serrame scioglia. Tell him to open up il serrame, the locks. Di voto mi gittai a santi piedi. And so he, he threw himself, Dante threw himself and said misericordia chiesi. I pity me, chiese, e che mi aprisse, ma tre volte nel petto prima mi diedi. And I went like this three times. Sette P nella fronte mi descrisse col punton della spada. He put in P's, seven P's. E fa che lavi quanto si destro queste piaghe. And these P's here, they will disappear, wash them as you move up. Disse, cenero terra che secca si cavi, d'un color fuori col suo vestimento, e di sotto da quel trasse due chiavi. So, from underneath his, um, his dress, uh, his costume, he took out two, uh, two keys. L'una era d'oro, one was gold, and l'altra d'argento, and the other one was silver. Pria con la bianca e poscia con la gialla. First the silver one, and then the golden one. Forse la porta sì che io fu contento. And he opened up the door. Quandunque l'una d'este schiavi falla, che non si volga dritta per la toppa. Don't turn around from here onwards. Di sell a noi, non sapre questa calla. Più care l'una, ma l'altra vuol troppa, d'arte d'ingegno avanti che di serri, perché è quella che è il nodo di, di groppa. So watch it, because if you turn around, After you open the keys, you're going to get back. You can't go back like this. You have to keep walking forward. Da Pier, da Pier le tengo. Uh, so he says, oh, I've got these keys from Pier, 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 Pietro, St. Peter, who owns the keys to paradise. E dissimi che chi erri anzi ad aprire che a tenerla serrata pur che la gente a piedi mi s'atterri. So if anyone... Uh, he said, if anyone dares to turn around, then they can get back. Poi pinse l'uscio alla porta sacrata dicendo, entrate, ma, faccio, ma faccio vi accorti che di fuori torna chi è indietro si guarda. So if you turn around, you gotta get back. E quando fuori nei cardini distorti gli spigoli di quella regge sacra, che di metallo non so, sono sonanti e forti, non rugghiò, si ne si mostrò, si acra. Si acra, 
Tarpea come tolto le fu il buono matello perché poi rimase macra. E again, this is metello, il coraggioso metello. I, I, I don't have this. Again, you, if you're reading it, it's, it's important to look up these people here. Obviously, it's a mythological, um, uh, mythological figures here that, you know, he compares that situation to. Io mi rivolsi attento al primo tuono, there was like a, a thunder, e te deum laudamus mi parea udire in voce mista al dolce suono. So the thunder wasn't actually a thunder, was this dolce suono, this chorus. Eh? Tale immagine appunto mi rendea ciò che udiva qual prendersi suone quando a cantare con organi si stea. So, You couldn't hear the, the sound of the words all, all together. And it's like, um, you know, you've got uh, the organs uh, playing in between. So, in, you know, from, if you listen to a choir from far away, you can't actually distinguish the words. But welcome to Anjali Mela. Thank you for coming on. Uh, so Dante is listening, can understand the words, but occasionally the chorus also gives way to the organ playing. Okay? Quando a cantare con orghi si stea, cor si or no si intendono le parole. So he finishes there, says, and that's, it's anti-purgatorio, the, the, the angel the, the, with the, the golden key and the silver case have opened up, and he and Virgilio go up. And notice here, Virgilio doesn't say much in the Uh, when he's in, in uh, it says very little in Purgatorio. It's strange for him too. That uh, would be, in, you know, uh, there's something here. La vera o l'essere nella concezione cristiana. Good one. To have and to be with Christian conception. In other words, as a Christian. You have to reflect on the role of Virgilio here in Purgatorio. And people have written so much. They're, they're interesting articles too. Then proposte di ricerca con suggerimenti bibliografici, letture e studi del suo canto nono. Look, you know, letture e studi. You know, this has been going on for 700 years plus. Amazing. Okay, well, that's it for today, for Canto 9. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't listened to it uh, from the beginning, you can go back once, uh, you know, once, once, this particular, uh, once this particular podcast, because it becomes a podcast, is finished. And now, to me, my poems. My poems are actually interesting. Today... Because I wrote this, in, I wrote one in English and one in French. And I'm going to read the English first because, oh, the good old days. Oh, the good old days. That's when I was at university, of course. What a situation to live a love untrue, to feel the way you do, to flirt on the dunes of time in a desert covered with lime. Romance is passion in disguise, mistreated by love's oversight, left on the pillow of truth in nights shining bright. We hawk the present, retaining the moment, and out of grasp by morn, when a new rejoices dawn, we leave the past forever, to return on the prince of time, which alas are no longer the same, moving about in closed walls, where loneliness gnaws the heart, where self relearns its truth, forever knowing the wise that it no longer survives. You need a bit of explanation here. I can understand it, but can you? <laughs> In Italian. O oh, i vecchi bei tempi, che situazione, vivere un amore non vero, sentirti come fai tu, amoreggiare sulle dune del tempo in un deserto coperto di limo, il sentimentalismo e la passione mascherata, maltrattata dalla trascuratezza dell'amore, rimasto sul cuscino della verità in notti brillanti di chiarezza. Noi aggrediamo il presente, tratteniamo il momento, 
e fuori dall'abbraccio prima del mattino, quando l'aurora si rallegra di nuovo, lasciamo il passato per sempre, per passare da duna ad una, per ritornare sulle orme del tempo, che purtroppo non sono più le stesse, muovendoci in mura chiuse dove la solitudine rode il cuore, dove l'ego riapprende la sua verità, per sempre sapendo il perché del non sopravvivere più. And that's, you know, when you have a good time, when you're young, and you leave at dawn so that you can get home on time, so that... <laughs> All those sort of things. Okay. Now, this one here was written in French to the girlfriend of my youth. So both the English and uh, the Italian are translations from the French. And if I find it one of these days, I'll read it in French. Dear flower of my youth, how I would have liked to touch your heart with such a sweet and tender friendship that the stars could have smiled at us from a dark sky in a winter's night. Oh, my love of all times, you inspire the greatest of poets. You touch the heart of the courageous and weaken the strength of the great. My friend from past times, I remember you always under a bridge of a village in the air of the astronauts running on fresh grass and on the clouds of my heart. Beautiful. All'amica della mia gioventù, mio caro fiore della gioventù, quando avrei voluto toccare il tuo cuore con un'amicizia così dolce e tenera che le stelle ci avrebbero sorriso da un cielo tenebroso di una notte d'inverno. Oh, amore di tutti i tempi, tu ispiri i poeti più grandi, tu tocchi i cuori dei coraggiosi e indabolisci la forza dei grandi. Amica mia dei tempi passati, io mi ricordo di te sempre, sotto un ponte di un villaggio, nell'aria degli astronauti, correndo sull'erba fresca e sopra le nuvole del mio cuore. A ah, l'ami de ma jeunesse. Quello era il titolo in, in francese. And I wrote this poem in French. Uh, pity, I... Sometimes I think about what could be done with more time or whatever, but that's life, okay? And, uh, you know, that's important that we, uh, let me see. Here we go. I hope it comes on. No, it won't come on because I didn't. Okay, let's do it again. Yes, got it. Okay. Now, I've got the songs. Now, today, because there are quite a few of them, I decided to give you a bit more time because, uh, you know, it, and I will make some comments along the way. Here we go. There we are. And this was the latest, the second. Here we go. Next one. Ready to go. Here we go. Yep. Another afternoon uh, here I, uh, with uh, Dora and Rena, and uh, Dora likes to practice while well, Stephen I'm speaking. <laughs> now, we're getting a little bit more organized now because um, I've made arrangements for a carretto with Tony Aiello. Uh, to, to actually go there occasionally. And I did go there last week, but there were very few people. Now, I'm willing to do it, uh, and I've organised the programme now uh, with Dora and Rina. We've got 12 songs, Italian songs and the lyrics. The idea is to, for us to learn, uh, to learn these, these particular songs, to show you which songs they are uh, online on Facebook, and then to actually come... If you come to Il Caretto, we have Coro all'improvviso. So you don't have to actually uh, be a choir, but what you have to do is to sing along with us. So we will do what we're doing here, and then you sing too, and we create a lovely atmosphere. But I need some people to actually say, Tom, I want to come. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to organise uh, 
very <laughs> collected in that way because it's a restaurant then of course they want to see people if they're going to give me the space they want to see a few people there that at least are interested in what we're doing okay so today we're going to do another six songs uh, three and three the program will be three songs plus my introductions etc there so there are four and it's all the whole program will last one and a half hours uh, from three o'clock to 4.30 on a Wednesday, and I will announce it when uh, I've got enough people, I will say, on this day, on this Wednesday, we are going to be at the Caretto, and we'll all be there together, because you said you would come. Okay, so I'll tell you when he rings me, or rings Dora, as long as you say, I'm coming, that's, yeah, that's all you want that you are coming to, to, to actually join us, okay? So we welcome anyone who comes, uh, it's Italian uh, song lyrics. <coughs> okay, now we're going to do the first um, of three here, and then there will be another uh, three after that. Uh, this is La Prima Cosa Bella, uh, Nicola Di Bari made it famous, and now we're going to make it even more famous because the, th the Trio Lugano here, <laughs> number two, Trio Lugano, <laughs> is going to sing. Okay. So, okay, remember Angelo, of course. Angelo, you. Let's start. La prima cosa bella. Ok. Ho preso la chitarra e suono per te. Il tempo di imparare, loro non so suonare, ma suono per te. La senti questa voce, chi canta il mio cuore. Amore, 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 è quello che so dire, ma tu mi capirai. I prati sono in fiore, profuma anche tu. Ho voglia di morire, non posso più cantare, non chiedo di più. La prima cosa bella che ho avuto dalla vita e il tuo sorriso giovane sei tu, la neve di una stella, la notte si è schiarita, il cuore innamorato sempre è più, sempre è più. Ora da solo. La senti questa voce, chi canta il mio cuore, amore, 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 è quello che so dire, ma tu mi capirai. I prati sono in fiore, profumi anche tu, ho voglia di dormire, non posso più cantare, non chiedo di più. La prima cosa bella che ho avuto dalla vita è il tuo sorriso giovane e sei tu. Tra gli alberi di stella, la notte si è scalita, il cuore innamorato è sempre più. La senti questa voce, ti canta il mio cuore. Wow, I, you know, uh, that's a nice song actually to learn uh, and it's, uh, you know, it's good. So we got to the next one now. The next song of uh, this trio of songs is La Spagnola, very well known. Uh, Dora knows it very well oh, too. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what we're going to do uh, is uh, give her our own interpretation uh, of uh, La Spagnola. I hope you like it, I'm sure you do. And uh, please come to Caretto. Let me know if you want to come, uh, you must welcome, okay? Uh, on this note, the introduction, we got from the introduction to La Spagnola. And that's so.
Venga, let's sing la spagnola, che okay, questa. Okay, okay. Di Spagna sono la bella, regina son dell'amore. Tutti mi gitano stella, stella di vino spendo. Di Spagna sono la bella, regina son dell'amore. Good, we're going to go to the next one straight away. Okay, here we go. This is the third song, Tango delle Capilere, of this trio of songs. So we've done uh, the other two, and uh, this is the third one. Uh, you know, if you come, you can learn it with us. Okay, Tango delle Capilere will follow. Here we go. Oop. Come on. Let's go with the tango de la capinera Dora.
That was the first trio of songs. Now we're going to go to the next lot. The next lot is going to be a little bit, uh, you know, there are a few mistakes here and there, but they're beautiful songs. And uh, here, this is set number four. Okay, here we go. Now, there's another trio of songs called, the first one is L'Universo per me, which we're going to uh, well, sing, Rina and I, and Dora, of course, uh, these are modern songs. Uh, it doesn't matter. We do what we can, musically speaking. But we're going to introduce this because it's very popular in uh, in the dancing halls of Italian clubs here in Melbourne. Okay, so Rena, let's uh, do it almost a cappella, and uh, Dora can follow us whenever she can. Okay. Uh, thank you. Okay, let's go. Here we go, a cappella. Rino, let's go. L'universo per me. Yeah. A cappella. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Ci sono milioni di stelle in città, centomila lanterne. C'è tutta la luce che c'è, ma sei tu l'universo per me. Ci sono migliaia di voci. Diamanti e di sguardi veloci, c'è tutto l'amore che c'è, ma sei tu l'universo per me. Ma se un pensiero una mattina mi sveglia già, e tu non fossi qua, se tu non fossi qua, Metti la mano sopra il mio cuore si calmerà, digli che amore avrà e che non finirà. Ci sono giardini di fiori e la gente che aspetta là fuori, c'è tutto il profumo che c'è, ma sei tu. L'universo per me, ma se un pensiero una mattina mi sveglia già e tu non fossi qua, 
se tu non fossi qua metti la mano sopra il mio cuore si calmerà digli che amore avrà e che non finirà ci sono milioni di stelle in città centomila antenne c'è tutta la luce che c'è ma sei tu l'universo per me ma se un pensiero una mattina mi sveglia già e tu non fossi qua se tu non fossi qua metti la mano sopra il mio cuore si calmerà digli che amore avrà e che non finirà ci sono milioni di stelle in città centomila lanterne c'è tutta la luce che c'è ma sei tu l'universo per me ma sei tu l'universo per me Wow. Eh, you have to learn it. <laughs> Dora, stavo facendo l'introduzione, è tu, è una bella introduzione di Dora pure. Perché cade la neve per noi. It's, it's uh, Salvatore Adamo, thank you very much. He was uh, born in Puglia, went to Belgium, uh, went to French school and became famous in France in Italy and elsewhere. It's got a beautiful voice and thank you Salvatore Adamo. I think he's still uh, with us and it's uh, really wonderful uh, the songs that you've sung. Song. And now we're going to do it here. Yeah? Mm. Let's hope, and uh, we're going to do it our way, yeah? Yeah. because we can't really, the, you know, the big big bands, etc. Right. Okay, yeah. let's do it. Yeah. And we're going to do this at Il Carretto. Okay. I've If you come, we learn.
<laughs> well, we did okay, except the last bit. Well, the last That's okay. Time. We're going to let it go. We're going to let it go. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we think we're happy with the first one. Very sincerely. Now we've got uh, the first six songs which we did last time and six today. We're going to finish with Death Samora. And uh, this is not an advertisement for Death Samora Cheese, of course. It's not. <laughs> it's just for it's us. A song. I feel correct, okay? So, uh, never mind. But, uh, you know, Death Samora. And uh, we want to remember the little Americans who created such beautiful music. Uh, Lynn Ma exactly. Martin, yeah. the yeah. Frank Sinatra, etc. Okay, so we're going to finish our 12 songs uh, at Il Caretto with uh, the group of people who are going to join us in coro all'improvviso. <laughs> okay. Okay, well that's Amore and we'll be there. Here we are. In Napoli, where love is king, when boy meets girl, hear what they say. When the moon hits her, I like a big piece of pie that's a morning. When the world seems to shine like you can do too much wine, that's a morning. Now you're a ring, 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 Well, that deserves this, a bottle of wine. <laughs> Thank you to Dora and Rena, the homemade wine for this year. That's a nice photo too. Okay, well, that's it. We've done well today. Uh, we've gone so smoothly so far. Okay, well, thank you very much for whoever's come on uh, today and, uh, of course, during the week. Uh, and quite a few people come on, which is good. Uh, don't forget, uh, the you know, you can access this on insegna.com, eventually the whole of Purgatorio's uh, uh, podcasts and, uh, and the rest, world history, Italian lessons, French and Spanish. On that note, uh, I'll, you know, preparing for this afternoon at Federazione Urcana, thank you once again. Grazie mille. Ci risentiamo la prossima settimana. And adesso, ciao. From Tom Padula of Tom Padula TV on YouTube and Insegna Booksellers.